So if you follow some of my YouTube videos, you probably saw I made some improvements to my tractor this summer. I also built a three-point log boom for skidding logs down to my homemade bandsaw mill. So in this video, we'll be milling up some of those Douglas fir logs on my bandsaw for some much needed lumber for an outbuilding project. So stick around to the end of the video and check out a light industrial bandsaw mill my friend and I recently just bought. It's got full hydraulic functions on the mill. It's a pretty cool machine. So check out those chompers on my Yanmar. Yes, I'm talking about the bucket teeth. This summer I ordered some new teeth for this bucket and when I got them, they actually didn't fit the bucket profile. So I decided, oh hell with it, I'm just gonna grab my plasma torch. I had some old uh, AR 400 sheet steel, hardened steel. So I just cut it out with my plasma and welded them back on the old bucket teeth as teeth caps. So worked out pretty well. I'll probably include that cutting and welding those on a future Yanmar update video. So here I'm just cleaning up some of the old dirt that got jammed into the log. If I had a pressure washer and electricity up by the mill, that'd probably be my tool of choice, but I don't. Also adding a little bit of blade lube, getting this thing set up. Basically water and pine saw is all I run in here. Checking over the mill, making sure all the power feed and everything works good. And uh, time to fire it up and start cutting some boards. So probably one of the biggest benefits other than building the mill just in general was adding that power feed to it. And it makes a big difference after a few hours or a day of cutting, not pushing that mill through the log manually, but just letting that uh, electric motor move it back and forth. It saves me a lot of time and a lot of effort. It's one of the biggest improvements I think you could do in a home-made mill or just a super small, simple mill like this. So after cutting most of those 2x4s out of the main portion of the log, we step back to the original cuts. These are all the first cuts we got off the tree. And these are just getting cut into, I think, about six more 10 foot 2x4s. The price of lumber these days, like those are about, I think, 10 bucks a board right now. So not a bad way to go for a few hours worth of work and get a lot of lumber out of just one simple tree. So I know I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Even though the mill's loud, and of course we got ear protection, there's something kind of relaxing about running the mill, cutting all this wonderful lumber out of these logs. Just really neat unlocking all the cool grain and logs and just checking everything out. Another nice thing is a nice warm day hanging out with my dad. It's a good quality time. He likes coming down and being a helper at the mill, and I really appreciate the help. It just goes by a lot faster when you have a secondary person there to help. So just a nice day to spend with my dad.
So here we're just stacking up all the previous cut boards off of those uh, logs as we're working into them. And I was really surprised how many 2x4s we got out of the 12 foot and 14 foot Douglas fir logs we milled here today. Pretty good yield. I was happy with that. Don't click off just yet after we show the stack of boards we got out of this thing. We'll get into uh, two mills we've been actually running. One we ran at my friend's house over the summer and another one we just purchased recently. So for the record, I got 12, 12 and a half footers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I have 13, 14 footers and some one by fours. So here's a wood miser we've been running at my friend Dave's place for the last summer. And uh, it's been a good machine. It's got all the bells and whistles. And uh, you always hear great things about wood misers, but it doesn't really make me envy it much. I mean, my mill does basically everything this mill does, but it just costs about 500 bucks. This was probably, I don't know, 25,000 maybe new. Um, definitely not rushing out to get one, but it worked good. We milled a lot of wood with it over the summer, a bunch of beams, Douglas fir. This is uh, some two by eights stack. That's just some of the stuff we milled. And uh, it worked really well, but my little mill that I have in my place has almost the same cut capacity. Of course, it's not on a trailer, but it works just fine. But after running that for a while, he ended up just getting that wood miser going for one of his friends and trade. His guy said he could just hang on to it for the next few years and do some milling. But we actually were talking about getting a mill just going in on one. And this mill came up from an acquaintance he knew. It's been sitting for about 10 or 12 years. It was an old electric mill that was converted over to gas. And surprisingly, that engine up there only has about 10 hours on it. But like I just said, it's been sitting in the Northwest for a long time. And the guy said, make an offer and kind of weighed out what we were comfortable paying for it. And uh, we made an offer and the guy accepted it. And the uh, next thing was to uh, get it hauled to my friend's place. It's going to take a bit of work. We're going to have to probably put about another thousand dollars into a lot of things. But by that point, it should be really dialed in. And it's from uh, Timberwolf, and I think the company might be out of business now. It's got a good Kohler. I think it's a 36 or 38 horsepower engine on it. And uh, so we've just been kind of dabbling with it, fixing some things. After we got it back, um, we found that uh, the main shaft bearing was uh, shot. So we ordered some new bearings for it, and my friend uh, ended up welding up the shaft and uh, turning on the lathe. And Fixing up all the little things, you know, when you get a machine you have and can't run because it's been sitting for a long time, you end up uh, realizing all the little problems it has. But we got it for a good enough price, and it's well worth it. I think it's going to serve us very well for a long time. It's kind of a semi-commercial mill that we can do a lot of work with this thing. So keep an eye out in the future. There's going to be a full update video on this, talking all about it and all the repairs we've done. Hopefully in the next few months, we should have it all fixed up and running super smooth. All right. Thanks so much for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. Until next time, take care, guys. Goodbye. <music>